Hi, welcome to Trucks and Other Stuff. Today, I want to have a discussion. This, this uh, video is not trying to say that I know a lot about a certain subject, but I want to create a discussion. I want to talk about this together. I want some information from you guys, and we'll talk about a, a, a topic that I'm sure people um, in the the, uh, the truck industry are thinking about. So let me just go ahead and get started. What I want to talk about is the inline six. The inline six, specifically uh, talking about uh, diesel application. So what spurred this this topic in my brain was uh, the recent unveiling of the three liter three liter turbocharged uh, uh, inline six. Uh, put out by Chevrolet. Uh, General Motors is putting out a diesel in their 1500. And uh, that engine really made me think, because because when they unveiled it, the people that I watched and the conversations that were had talked about how it was an inline six and how that is so special. How it's the, the, uh, the best uh, setup as far as um, like V8, V6, um, inline four, all that stuff. It's it's the best. And, and that's what I want to talk about today. I want to know why, I want to talk about why the inline six is such a All right, before I get started here, actually, what we're going to talk about is the subscriber challenge. So again, when I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm going to give away a free light bar to one of you guys, one of my subscribers. Um, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Get a chance to win that. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I hope it's enjoyable, this giveaway. And uh, we'll have a lot of fun together. Uh, remember, 1,000 subscribers. I am going to give away a, three, a free 12-inch light bar. All right. Back to what we were talking about. I want to talk about uh, the, the, the fact that the inline six is so balanced I mean it makes perfect sense it's all in a row you don't have you don't have uh, uh, force fighting in different directions they're all, all the, the cylinders are going the same exact direction uh, the explosions are happening in the same exact place and uh, it creates a very smooth smooth engine I think the fact that, it, that they're in an inline setup also gives it the opportunity to not have to fight against anything, and I, I think you probably can get more power out of it. And uh, let's see, a third, a third thing I want to think about, and I hope you think about with me, um, is the fact that the inline six, yes it is long. But it's a narrow engine in circumstances say as a diesel engine heavy duty world when you think about the uh, three main diesel engines you have two v8s and one inline six when you look under the hood of each of those vehicles the first thing i notice is the fact that both in the chevy and in the ford there's not much room to get around. In the Ram, there's a lot more room to access the side of your engine, the different components of your engine, your turbocharger. All those things are more easily accessible because there's so much room next to the engine. You don't have that, especially in the Ford. The Ford, you have room for absolutely nothing, and it's just, it's just cram-packed in there with stuff. If you wanna work on anything, you have to rip, rip a bunch of stuff out and it's a pain in the butt. So that's another really good thing about the inline six uh, setup, or just an inline setup in the first place, but specifically about the inline six for diesel uh, pickup truck applications. So those are a few of my thoughts. Um, I want to know what you think. I want you to subscribe, or well, of course I want you to subscribe, but I want you to comment and let me know other pros and maybe some other cons of the inline six uh, set up Maybe give me some some more information some new, new information and help 
help the viewers know more about this engine. This is informative and and just meant to provoke a conversation, not meant to say that I have a bunch of knowledge. So please comment, give some insight on the inline six liter diesel specifically engine. So thank you so much for watching today. Um, I, pray, I, I hope you uh, subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up, like it. And uh, also don't forget you can follow me on Instagram at trucks and other stuff. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.